Hello, welcome to our daily Godcast of evening prayer on this Friday of the 31st week in Ordinary Time. Also, feast day in the church today of a great pope in church history, uh, Pope Leo the Great. That's uh, a great pope. I guess I can call him a great pope because that's what the church calls him, St. Leo the Great. Um, he was a holy father back in the 400s. He served as pontiff for 20 years. And uh, in, during his time, the church was heavily persecuted um, and invaded. Uh, probably one of the more famous things that uh, uh, Pope Leo did was uh, uh, in those days, Attila the Hun, the infamous uh, marauder, conqueror uh, had come into Italy and was marching towards Rome. Well, Leo went out to meet him and persuaded him to turn around and leave Rome without doing Rome any harm. And to everyone's amazement, Attila did as Leo had asked him to do. And uh, asked later why he would do such a thing, Attila was asked. He said, well, when I was standing there speaking with Pope Leo, there were two men standing over his shoulder with him, uh, Saints Peter and Paul. They were supposedly, you know, heavenly figures standing with uh, the pontiff. And uh, so even this pagan marauder recognized the power of heaven and uh, acquiesced to the uh, to to Pope, Pope Leo's uh, demand that they 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 leave Rome alone and go back to where they came from so it's uh, an incredible <laughs> an incredible true story uh, and so we have uh, uh, Pope Leo to uh, to thank for saving Rome from being uh, sacked by the Huns, and uh, so we look back and and be very grateful for this. Now, from what I understand, uh, his he he was he was born in Rome. Leo was, and uh, his uh, family was uh, well to do and connected. And uh, one of his relatives apparently was Pope Sixtus, who preceded him. And when Sixtus died, well, before Sixtus died, he had made Leo an archdeacon. And serving as archdeacon, uh, he was enveloped in all the different heresies, fighting against these heresies that popped up. And then when Sixtus passed away, he was elevated to the chair of Peter. And I believe he was just a deacon when he was the, power, the pope. So it's, uh, that's, that's another little incredible tidbit, the life of this great, great pontiff. So today on feast day of St. Leo the Great, we ask for his intercession and his intervention in helping today's Catholic Church uh, fight against all the errors in this world. Our readings for today, our gospel reading, uh, we hear Jesus telling a parable about a, uh, a man who had a, a steward, and the steward was caught being dishonest and he was getting fired by his his master and before he got fired he befriended some people that uh, owed a lot of uh, goods or money and uh, because he realized that losing this job he was incapable of you know, making money in, in any other fashion because of his health and age. And uh, this, uh, he was commended for being prudent. You know, but then Jesus says that, the, you know, we tend to be more prudent 
when it comes to matters of the world and less prudent about matters of the spirit, which is truly what matters. Um, if only we could be as shrewd and prudent and, and you know, steadfast in our, our efforts to protect our divinity, our immortality, our looking after our, uh, our salvation as we are about looking after our welfare here on earth. And I think that's the, the point Jesus is trying to make. We, we concern ourselves about, you know, the roof over our head and the food we eat, but we don't, we don't really tend to matters of the spirit, matters of eternal consequence. And so we need to really start thinking about that, especially people like me who are advancing in years and realizing that uh, our days are numbered here on this planet. And uh, are we prepared? Are we making proper and diligent preparations to uh, take up our residency in God's kingdom? So something to, uh, to ponder today because of the gospel. So let us pray that we do have the same kind of fervor in looking after the divine aspect of our reality uh, as we do uh, with the human aspect of our, human, of our being. So let us pray our evening prayer, shall we? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God, come to my assistance, Lord. Make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <laughs> Great is the Lord, our God, transcending all other gods. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise some servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing a psalm to his name, for he is loving. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself, and Israel for his own possession. For I know the Lord is great, that our Lord is high above all gods. The Lord does whatever he wills in heaven, on earth, in the seas. He summons clouds from the ends of the earth, makes lightning produce the rain. From his treasuries he sends forth the wind. The firstborn of the Egyptians he smote, of man and beast alike. Signs and wonders he worked in the midst of your land, O Egypt, against Pharaoh and all his servants. Nations in their greatness he struck, and kings in their splendor he slew. Sihon, king of the Amorites, Og, the king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan, he let Israel inherit their land. On his people their land he bestowed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Great is the Lord our God, transcending all other gods. House of Israel, bless the Lord. Sing psalms to him, for he is merciful. Lord, your name stands forever, unforgotten from age to age. For the Lord does justice for his people. The Lord takes pity on his servants. Pagan idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths, but they cannot speak. They have eyes, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they cannot hear. There is never a breath on their lips. Their makers will come to be like them, and so will all who trust in them. Sons of Israel, bless the Lord. Sons of Aaron, bless the Lord. Sons of Levi, bless the Lord. You who fear him, bless the Lord. From Zion, may the Lord be blessed, he who dwells in Jerusalem. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, your name and your memory last forever. We stand to pray in your house, and praise you with psalms of joy. We ask you in your kindness 
to have mercy on us in our lowliness. House of Israel, bless the Lord. Sing psalms to him, for he is merciful. All nations will come and worship before you, O Lord. Mighty and wonderful are your works, Lord God Almighty. Righteous and true are your ways, O King of the nations. Who would dare refuse you honor or the glory do your name, O Lord? Since you alone are holy, all nations shall come and worship in your presence. Your mighty deeds are clearly seen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All nations will come and worship before you, O Lord. A reading from the letter of St. James. Wisdom from afar, from above, is first of all innocent, it is also peaceable, lenient, docile, rich in sympathy, and the kindly deeds that are its fruits, impartial and sincere. The harvest of justice is sown in peace for those who cultivate peace. In the midst of the church he spoke with eloquence. In the midst of the church he spoke with eloquence. The Lord filled him with the spirit of wisdom and understanding. He spoke with eloquence. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In the midst of the church, he spoke with eloquence. Day after day, Peter proclaims to the whole church, You are Christ, the Son of the living God. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Day after day, Peter proclaims to the whole church, You are Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus Christ is worthy of all praise, for he was appointed high priest among men and their representative before God. We honor him, and in our weakness we pray, bring salvation to your people, Lord. You marvelously illuminated your church throughout or through distinguished leaders and holy men and women. Let Christians rejoice always in such splendor. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. You forgave the sins of your people when their holy leaders like Moses sought your compassion. Through their intercession, continue to purify and sanctify your holy people. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. In the midst of their brothers and sisters, you anointed your holy ones and filled them with the Holy Spirit. Fill all the leaders of your people with the same spirit. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. You yourself are the only visible possession of our holy pastors. Let none of them, one at the price of your blood, remain far from you. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. The shepherds of your church keep your flock from being snatched out of your hand. Through them you give your flock eternal life. Save those who have died, those for whom you gave up your life. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. Gathering our prayer and praises into one, let us offer the prayer that Christ himself taught us to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. God, our Father, you will never allow the power of hell to prevail against your church, founded on the rock of the Apostle Peter. Let the prayers of Pope Leo the Great keep us faithful to your truth and secure in your peace. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and, I'm sorry, blessing myself, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. You know, I need, I need blessings as well. But I'm happy to be able to bless you. <laughs> and uh, hopefully that's a two-way thing, you know. It goes both directions. Power of God works all around, every which way. See you tomorrow. God bless you. I'll have a great weekend.